Hey guys, today we're in Newport Beach, California. And we're at Shock Boats. Today next to me is George. He's one of the main guys here. And we want to talk to you, give you a couple little tips for your Yamaha engine that'll help the engine last longer and give you more performance and you'll be a lot happier too. You won't have to come to a boat shop like this and get work on as often. Absolutely. They pay attention to these little things. Absolutely. One of the things we want to start with is what we see here with an on the water location is zincs, your, your sacrificial anodes on your, on your engine, um, especially the transom zinc, which I'll walk over here and kind of show you on this motor. What we're seeing, this zinc actually is placed right here on the transom brackets. What we're seeing is aftermarket zincs being used, not Yamaha genuine parts. And what these are doing, they're not sacrificing, they're not taking the electrolysis. And what that does is it attacks your hydraulic power trim and tilt unit. And then you'll start seeing some electrolysis and pitting on the rams. Um, also some electrolysis around the mounting bolts, it starts to attack this other than this. What we really want you to do is use Yamaha factory authorized parts. You're gonna see a lot of these in stores, marine hardware stores, all over the place, different manufacturers, brands, what have you. Um, you might find this for $10 cheaper. It is really, really not smart to buy these. It's really, really important that you use a Yamaha factory zinc. Um, this is a very high dollar investment. This is, your family's on this. You wanna make sure everything's functioning properly and you're not having any issues with trim and tilt fluid leaking, um, anything like that. We, we really stress Yamaha factory parts. And that's a good point because by saving a couple of dollars on a third party part, you could be putting the family at risk, or especially damaging a quality product like this. Very expensive quality product. You can't mess around with electrolysis. It's a serious thing. On some boats are so hot when you walk by them, you'll actually see bubbles. You'll see them out. fizz. That's correct. Yeah. You'll really see. And if it is still a hot piece of water, your factory zincs are are a lot softer and will take that sacrifice more than these. Right. If you don't understand what we're talking about, this is considered a really soft metal zinc. So what happens in the water, sometimes electrolysis, depending on how your boats are wired and how the system is, but all boats have electrolysis. Some a higher degree, some a lower degree. And the whole idea behind these zincs is this is what you want to dissolve. You don't want your engine to dissolve, your bracket to dissolve, or any parts of your boat. There's a zinc also right here on the lower unit. Right. It also does the same job. And these are the pieces of metal you want to um, go ahead and dissolve in the salt water and you have to replace them all the time and I think what George is trying to also tell you is that if you don't do this if you don't replace these zincs and you damage this when you come to the boat dealer again it's not going to be a simple change my zinc. No zincs, it could be a complete oil. hydraulic unit under here which is the, usually the first to go yeah. and those are thousands. thousands. They we're talking about thousands so this is a good safety tip and again as George is saying don't try to be uh, penny cheap and save a few bucks on your zinc. Not with these, not they, with these. They have to be factory, factory, Yamaha factory parts. Correct. And there's that big zinc, this zinc, those are the only two that I know. There of. are some anodes in the power head that uh, do some sacrificing also, but the, the interval in those is hundreds and hundreds of hours. And that's why it's important to bring your boat in for that service. And Preventive maintenance, yes sir. How often is that maintenance on these boats? It varies on the engines, but we engine. like to say every hundred hours. Once a year, if you're in the salt water, that way we can always check these. You might have 20, 30 hours on it a year, but you have to bring it in so we can look at all the issues. Yeah, if you leave your and boat in the water, you're gonna be changing them a lot more than once a year. That's correct, yeah. that's correct. All right, well, thanks, George. Thanks you for having us out. Okay, buddy, sure. So we're live here in Newport Beach, California at Shock Boats, and uh, George's kind enough to help us out. And please, get your Yamaha factory parts. Don't try to save those pennies. Those pennies you're gonna save are gonna cost you thousands in repairs later. Absolutely. All right, nice talking to you guys today, and we'll talk to you all real soon.